another version of the self as personal identity branch of theory of the self uh, is Hume's bundle theory. Uh, and this is more of a prototype theory, uh, version of the theory, which says that we are just a collection of experiences. Right? Um, that this is probably already kind of familiar, uh, but let's put it in Hume's terms so that you can get an idea of it. Right? So recall from previous lectures that Hume argues, or Hume says, um, uh, that there are basically two components that make up the mind, right? There are sensory impressions, which are immediate, discrete, um, and simple, and then there are ideas, which come from uh, the constant conjunction of similar impressions to give us the basis of ideas, right? Uh, so if I constantly see, you know, things of this shape with like lead and everything or ink, right? This gives me the idea or the concept of a pencil over time, right? I can look at anything similar and eventually get the idea of a writing utensil, right? And it gives me the uh, uh, the concept and the general idea of something. So we generalize from constant exposure to similar things uh, towards a general categories right? and general rules. And it's the same thing. If I uh, if you see me drop, you know, this bottle, right? if I let go of the bottle, it's going to drop. What tells me it's going to do that even before I do it is that I've seen things not be supported and fall over and over and over, which has created in my mind the law of gravity. Right? Um, so for Hume, the self is just this collection of impressions. Right? There is no essential self. As he puts it, when I turn my uh, uh, attentions to the innermost workings of my, uh, uh, of my soul, um, I find that there is nothing there but a bundle of impressions. Right? So in trying to examine who we are, uh, we find that there is nothing that is really us. Right? All that we are is a collection of beliefs and impressions, so ideas and sensations right? that hold together. Right? and uh, much like, uh, that are lashed together, much like a raft, right? You know, it's not a matter of us being actually like intrinsically tied together. Um, we're thrown together, just kind of haphazardly, right? Enough to float on the river of life, right? To survive its waves uh, and rapids. But when we, um, you know, when one of the logs that make up this uh, a raft, whether it be a belief or uh, some view about ourselves or something like that, uh, when it gets rotted, we replace it with another one that fits, right? And that's what all that the self is. It's just something. Uh, it's a collection of impressions and ideas about ourselves that we've bound together, lashed together, and that we do perform maintenance on as it carries us through life. There's nothing essentially what we are. Right? The raft is just these logs tied together. The self just is this collection, this bundle of impressions and beliefs. It's nothing more, nothing less.